Hey everyone, this is Brad from iBuyPower. If you're watching this video, it probably means you've just received your new PC and need a little help with your RGB lighting. If that's the case, you've come to the right place. Today, we're going to go over what to do if some of the RGB lighting in your PC is off. Unless otherwise instructed, always make sure your PC is completely turned off and unplugged while working inside it. If you get stuck or feel uncomfortable at any point, feel free to reach out directly to our technical support for assistance either via email, phone, or live chat. For this guide, you should prepare the following tools. A Phillips head screwdriver, something to cut zip ties, some extra zip ties, and optionally, some electrical tape. Make sure your hands are clean and dry before touching any components and never, under any circumstances, touch any electrical contacts. We recommend documenting whatever you are plugging, unplugging, or moving in your PC's wiring by taking some photos with your smartphone that you can refer back to later. The first thing that you'll want to do is figure out all of the lighting in your system that should be controllable. For most folks, that means the case, fans, memory, video card, cooler, and motherboard. By default, we ship all our systems with the RGB lighting on unless otherwise stated. So if you notice something is dark that should be lit up, it's likely the sign of a loose cable. Now, let's take a look at what might be causing some of these issues. Keep in mind, this will only cover iBuyPower's in-house RGB components, such as our fans and light strips on the case. If you have any name brand RGB components, such as those from Corsair, Thermaltake, or NZXT, you may need to consult their support for assistance if those components are not lighting up. Also, this guide is only going to cover how to deal with RGB lighting not working, not issues with the fans not spinning. As of the making of this video, there are two major different types of addressable RGB systems that are included with iBuyPower cases. The first is the type used in our Gen 3 and prior cases, and then there are the newer systems used in our Gen 4 and newer cases. The oldest generation of non-addressable RGB cases will not be specifically covered, but there will be some similarity. We suggest contacting our support directly for assistance with these older systems. Let's start with the older cases, as these have a much higher chance of coming disconnected. We have removed the entire RGB system from this case to show you how all of these parts are connected together. There is a central hub that distributes lighting to each of the fans and sometimes parts of the case itself. The fan motors are individually powered, so each fan has two wires coming out of it. In some cases, the central hub will have eight ports instead of four. These hubs are generally supplied when no motherboard header is available and are controlled by remote instead of software. Newer iBuyPower cases will come with a more consolidated RGB solution, where both the RGB signal and the fan motor are combined into a single cable which leads to the central hub. There are two slight variations on this design. One uses DC fans and has two motherboard fan headers for power. The other uses PWM fans and only has a single PWM header to pick up the fan speed signal. All four of these variants require a direct connection to the PC power supply for RGB LEDs. Now that you've seen what some of these systems can look like, let's take a look at fixing the issue. Generally, you are going to encounter one of two situations. The first is where a single RGB component, such as a fan, is not lighting up. The second is when all of the exterior RGB is not working. If you only see a single item not lighting up, it is more likely that the individual wire connecting that item to the central hub is loose. Some of these RGB connectors are held in only by friction, so they can slip out during transit. The most common culprits are these three pin addressable connectors. Take the metal side panel off of your case and inspect the wiring. If you see any loose female ends, look for the male end nearby to plug it back into, taking care not to plug it into itself. If the connector feels especially loose, you can add a small piece of tape to keep it together as you close the side panel again. If you find that none of your fans are lighting up, then it is more likely that the hub itself is either disconnected from the power supply or the RGB signal. If all of the RGB seems to be properly plugged into the hub itself, check around the motherboard side to make sure the signal header is also plugged in properly. In some situations, this plug may be in a very hard to reach spot on the bottom edge of the motherboard, so we recommend removing the video card to make access easier. When attaching your RGB cable to the motherboard header, take care that you are plugging into the three pin five volt header, not the older four pin 12 volt header, as this could cause damage to the system. You should also check to make sure the power cable is plugged in. This will be a large four pin connector commonly referred to as Molex. If it is disconnected, then reconnect it to the power supply. If things seem to be plugged in correctly and an item is still not lighting up, or the entire system's RGB lighting seems to be dark, then I would suggest getting in touch with our support for some advanced troubleshooting, as it may mean a component is damaged or defective and needs to be replaced. 
Well, that wraps it up for our RGB Connections troubleshooting video. Hopefully we were able to solve your issue. If you have any comments or feedback, you can leave a comment on this video or hit us up on social media. Thank you.